Hello Cygnus class. Today we're going to be doing a little experiment. An experiment is where you find out what actually happens and we're going to be finding out whether something floats or whether it sinks. Now today I've got a big bowl of water, I've got a coin which is made out of metal, it's a ten pence piece, I've got some silver foil, I've got two forks, a plastic one and a metal one, I've got a big spoon and a little spoon so I've got a tablespoon and a teaspoon and I've got two bottles of water and a bit later on in the video Guinness is going to help us as well. So what I want you to do first of all is I want you to estimate or predict which means clever guess. You're going to guess what you think is going to happen when I put these things into the water. Are they going to float or are they going to sink? Now, if something floats, it means it's going to stay on top of the water. And we all know what sink means, it goes down to the bottom of the water. So the first thing we're going to try is we are going to try the fork. And I'm going to put the fork in and we're going to see what happens. What do you think is going to happen to this metal fork? Is it going to float or is it going to sink? It's gone under the water, which means it has sunk to the bottom. Why do you think it's sunk to the bottom? I've got the plastic fork now. Shall we see what happens to this? <gasps> What's happening to it? It's floating on top of the water. It's floating on the surface, which means that it's staying on top. Now I've got two spoons. I've got the dessert spoon and I've got the teaspoon. Do you think that the bigger one is going to sink or the smaller one is going to sink? Do you think both of them are going to sink or do you think they're going to float? Shall I see what happens? Well, the big tablespoon made of splash as I put it in and it sank straight to the bottom. But do you think the teaspoon, which is smaller, is going to stay on top or sink as well? That has sunk straight to the bottom. Both of those are made out of metal. Now, I have got some silver foil all scrunched up here. And this is made out of a type of metal. So do we think it's going to float or sink? It's bobbing on the surface, so it hasn't sunk at all. So it is floating. I wonder why silver foil, which is a type of metal, is floating and everything else has sunk. I think big boats that you see on the sea, they tend to float. I wonder if you can ask your mummies or daddies why some things float and other things sink. Right, for this next bit we're going to try using some of Guinness's favourite objects and we're going to see what floats and what sinks. You can see I'm getting very excited. I have got a ball, I've got a bone, and I've got two carrots because carrot, Guinness loves carrots and I know as soon as I throw one in he's going to try and grab it out without letting it see whether it floats or sinks. So what do you think about the ball? Is that going to float or do you think it's going to sink? Let's have a little look shall we? It stays on the top of the water on the surface of the water so it looks as though it's floating. Where's the ball Guinness? Guinness get the ball? Where's the ball? No, not interested. What about your bone? What do you think is going to happen to the bone? It's quite heavy so I'm going to throw it, it has got a hole through it but I wonder if it's going to sink or float. What do you think Guinness? Are you ready? What's happening there? <gasps> That bone looks as though it's gone under the water, which means it has sunk. Right, are we ready for the carrots? I'm going to throw two in. Guinness, sit. Sit. Wait. 
Are you ready? Let me throw two in and see what happens. <gasps> Go on then. The carrot has sank as well. Look, it's going to try and get both of them out, I think. You're going to eat one at a time, are you? There he is, he's eating his healthy carrot. So the carrot also sank. Why do you think some objects float and some objects sink? Why don't you go and find some objects around the house and have a go as well? You don't need to be doing it in a paddling pool, but you can do it in the kitchen sink or you can do it um, in the bath perhaps. Okay, bye. I wonder if you can go and find some objects around the house and have a go. All you need is a washing up bowl and some objects from around the house. I've even got an empty bottle and a full bottle I wonder if you might be able to find these bottles and see whether both of them float, both of them sink or what happens to them because I think you will be surprised and let me know. Get your mummies and daddies to email me. Okay, so the language we are using is floating, sinking, it sank to the bottom, it floated on the surface. Okay, bye.